Hey folks, good morning, Jim Gill here, and I'm holding the camera myself. Uh, Nick has been too busy working on all sorts of good stuff for us. So anyway, I wanted to show you something. Um, this really blew my mind. I was so surprised when I learned some neat facts about water and evaporation and plants and how they use and sweat like humans do. Now, this tank here is a 10 gallon tank on the bottom. And uh, I've noticed over the last uh, few weeks since these plants have really started getting bigger that I fill this up about once every five or six days. It takes about five minutes. But I've noticed that these other ones over here, like these new ones where we're just getting started, those I fill up at about once every 15 days. So how, why is that? Why is this one, oops, why is this one using water at twice the speed as that one. I couldn't figure it out. And then I remembered something Bill Mollison said. Bill Mollison is kind of the uh, founder of permaculture. And this blew my mind. He said, you know those huge trees that you see in the rainforest? They collect water through their roots, pass it up the tree, and they and expel water into the atmosphere. So when you cut down a rainforest, you literally create a desert. You can go from rainforest to desert. So what's going on here is these plants are sucking up this water and they're expelling the water. They're sweating or perspiring it into the atmosphere. Now, some of you in Minnesota, especially, you, you know, I used to have a, a humidifier because it was so dry. So now imagine well, you got one of these in your house in Minnesota all winter long and it is perspiring or it is expelling uh, water into the atmosphere of your house all winter long. This is like having a humidifier at your house. So I think that is just so cool. I come out here, you know, multiple times a day and I just pick off of it. Um, and anyway, I love this thing. Start growing some food. Plant a fruit tree, start a garden. You'll be glad you did. Ciao for now.